Yeah, Sandosh and Javit. Uh, so, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, today we'll start with the body, B A D I, body. Okay. So now let us start with the new topic. Uh, the new topic is body. Body stands for Business adding. So body body stands for business add-ins. So now business add-in means uh, see for example uh, we have already done the user exit. Uh, before we are discussing the OOPS concept, we have already done the user exit. What is that uh, user exit? User exit means it's something like uh, SAP has a standard code. In the standard SAP code, uh, we we will provide some our own custom custom code, correct? So that is called user exit. So like. Whatever the requirement, whatever the whatever we have that code we will provide. Same functionality also can be done via body. That means business add-ins. But body follows the OOPS concept, object-oriented concept. So in the user exit, we have two steps. The first step is uh, finding out the enhancement. The second step is implementing the enhancement via project. So there we are going, uh, when you are using a user exit, you are going to the transaction SMOD, SMOD is the transaction to find out the enhancement and CMOD is the transaction to implement the project via enhancement. Now here, there is a transaction called SE18. AC18 is a transaction for body definition. And AC19 is another transaction. There is a transaction. So here we can implement the body to implement. Body. So these are the transactions for user exit, SMOD and CMOD, but uh, here for us to implement the body and to just to know whether the body is available or not, so these are the ways, SE18 and SE19. SE18 is for body definition, SE19 is the implementation. Body definition is an interface, remember in OOPS concept what is meant by interface? When we learned OOPS, OOPS have a, what is the interface? Hello? Santosh, are you able to hear me? I'm unable to hear you. Maybe you, you have muted. Javits.
Hello. Yep. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, now I'm able to hear you. Okay, sir. Okay, so now uh, see interface body body definition. AC18 transaction. There are there are something called body definition. The body definitions are interfaces. Interfaces means something like which is having empty methods. Interface means. It's something like a class, but it has a empty methods. And AC19, yes, AC19 is a, AC19 is a body implementation. Body implementation is a class. And remember this, these two points. So body definition is an interface, and body implementation is a class. Now, what are the advantages of body over user exit? So. Almost all the features of user exit is same as that of the body, but uh, body has a few advantages. What are the advantages of body over the user exit? What are the advantages of uh, body means? Here, the first advantage is multiple implementations is possible. Multiple implementations. are possible for example multiple implementations are possible means what I what I'm going to say is uh, see when you are doing the user exit if one enhancement was used by one person you cannot use the same enhancement in other project correct it will give an error message this enhancement is already used on so and so project it will give an error message but multiple implementations are possible now what this means is, even though the body definition is used for one person as implement one person, he has used for his own implementation. You can also use for your own implementation. That is called multiple implementation. Okay, so multiple implementations are possible. Second one is individual control. Individual control means multiple a body definition can have more than one implementation. Say for example, I have taken a body definition. I have three implementations. First implementation, second implementation, and third implementation. I have three implementations for the same body definition. Now later on, my customer is saying second implementation is not required. First one and third one are required. Then what I can do? I can I can go to the second implementation. I will click on deactivate button. So second implementation will not work. So there onwards, only first implementation and third implementation will work. So like that, individual control is possible. Next, the third important point is it is uh, flexible and you can create your own user created baddies are possible enhancement if you go to the user exit you cannot create an enhancement SAP will give you the enhancement SAP will provide you the screen numbers everything SAP will provide you you will just create it but here if you want to create a body you can create your own body so customized body you can create and that body you can call in a standard SAP body or user exit SAP standard user exit you can call your own body fine so these are the advantages of body so now let me take you into the screen and let me 
tell you what is the body, how to find out the body, and then how to take the body definition, how to implement the body. I'll go to the transaction XD02R, XK02. I'll go to the XK02. One moment, give me a moment. Okay, so let me take you into XK02 transaction. So this is a vendor related transaction. We have already implemented user exit for this. For the same transaction, let me check whether is there any bodies are available. Take any one of the vendor, click on the address and go inside. So now let us see, uh, these are the details, now if I save this, so there is nothing, so there was no message or nothing was there, nothing was triggering out. Now if I implement the body, I can trigger some message just like what we have done for the user exit. Now I want to know what are the bodies available for this particular screen or what are the bodies available for this particular transaction. So how to find out what are all the bodies available. Go to the system status. Go to the transaction, go to the program here. There is a program. Double click on the program. Click on find. So give the keyword CL underscore exit handler. Get instance. So this is the keyword. The keyword to find out the body is CL underscore exit handler get instance. See this is the keyword CL underscore exit handler double arrow get instance. So this is the keyword to get the data that, that, that means this is the place where SAP has provided a slot to write your own code. Okay so now I will double click on this. Okay. So now see what is this when you are using the double arrow double arrow means this is a class this is a class this is a static method correct then only we will use a double arrow if it is the instance method we will use single arrow here so now this is a static method so here we are passing some name vendor add data so this vendor add data is the body definition so this is how you can get the body definition. So this is body definition. So this is the one way. This is the first way of getting the body definition. The second way. Now I will tell you another way how to find out the body definition. Go to the program and go to the go to attributes note down the package just like user exit whatever we have done for the user exit note down the package once you note down the package go to the transaction y 
S E 18. Go to this transaction. Click on body name. Click on this find symbol. F 4 button. Click on this new selection. So here in the package you give it package, give the FPK or whatever. Continue. See these are all the body definitions. Vendor add data. Vendor add data we have seen in the uh, screen also previously. So this is vendor add data. So take this vendor add data. So this is the body definition. And if you want to see what is there inside the body definition, click on display and see what is there in vendor add data okay so these these are the attributes so there are two screens in body definitions attributes and interface attributes generally tell you like normal other attributes attributes will tell you what is the package is who is lost change language and etc etc and if you go to the interface the interface has lots of empty methods so interface name starts with if ifex SAP standard interface name always starts with IFEX and after this vendor add data is body definition see this is the body name vendor add data so because interface name should start with IF EX they have given and body uh, body name vendor add data they are giving here and this interface has several empty methods you can check the empty method list here check all data save data check data change all these are different different methods which were defined in this interface okay fine now I want to implement this body how to implement the body to implement the body where to go go to the transaction SC19 so what we have seen here SC18 is to find out the body definition SC19 is to implement the body so I am going to SC19 to implement this body. Go to the SC19, press enter. Click on a classical body. So when you click on this classical body, whatever just now we have seen this vendor add data. So that vendor add data body definition is already coming up. If body definition vendor add data is not coming here, you just type it here vendor add data. I click on create implementation. Here it's asking what is the implementation name. So implementation name what I'll do. I'll say Z vendor add data. Implementation name should start with Z or Y. So I will say Z vendor add data. Because this is the first implementation, I'll give one. Continue. Okay. And now give now give here some short description. Go to the interface. So now if you observe, this is the interface. Body definition is the interface. Body implementation is a class. I have told you. So body implement when we are doing the implementation a class is automatically created class naming convention is starting with the zcl underscore the class is already created now what you do uh, you save this body implementation Now it will ask an enhancement implementation. What you will do? Click on uh, see there are several enhancement implementations are available. For example, this DIMP AD MPN wonder is a enhancement implementation. Similarly, this is another enhancement implementation. Like that, there are several enhancement implementations are already available. If you want to add, see this is C. SSC implementation of body vendor add data. This is the enhancement implementation provided by standard SAP. 
for vendor add data. If you want to implement your implementation in this enhancement implementation, select this. Otherwise, if you want to create a new enhancement implementation, you can always go here and create a new enhancement implementation. Click on create enhancement implementation, give Z V E N D. Give some name. Give the short text. Enhancement implementation. Composite enhancement implementation is not required. Say continue. Save it as a local object or in package. Now if you observe here, you can also find Zvend. Maybe yeah, see if you you can find you can find the Zvend which we have created just now. So select this and continue. So we are creating this body implementation under the enhancement implementation. So now double click on the class. The class has various methods. The class is included the interface. If you go to the interface, see the class is included the interface. IFEX vendor add data. That means class has included the body definition. So because this has included the interface, all the methods are coming like interface tilde the method name. Now I'll go to the check all check all data. Go to the parameters and see what are the parameters available for this. And save data. What are the parameters available for this? And check data changed. What are the parameters available for this? Okay, so you can check like this. Now, what I will do? I will go for the check all data. Double click on this to implement the method. Here I am going to implement the method. So, what are the parameters are available for this method? Let me go back and check one. The parameters are. I underscore activity, I underscore LFA one, LFB one, LFM one, and so on. LFA one has the associated type LFA one. Double click on this LFA one. So let us see what all the fields are there. You know the account number, vendor account number. You know the country key. You know the name one, etc., etc. I want to validate the country key. right here if i underscore l f a one hyphen land one is equal to u s messages give any messages and then if messages I zero zero two with this customer belongs to US, and this is the first implementation. So I am giving US one. So I'll save, check, and activate. Come back. Save it. Check it. And activate. Come back. Activate the body implementation. So this is the uh, button to activate your body 
to activate your body implementation. Once you activate the body implementation, go to the normal screen. Go to your XK02 transaction from the beginning. Here I will try to change something and try to click on save. So now see, you can see the pop-up message is coming. This customer belongs to, oh sorry, I have this vendor I need to give, but uh, by mistake I have given the customer. So this is a vendor, okay. So we will change the message. This vendor belongs to US hyphen one. Hyphen one I have given because that is the first implementation. Now I am going to create a second implementation. Second implementation for same body definition. How to create second implementation? So because in a body, body has the advantage. We can create a multiple implementation for the same body definition. How to create a second implementation? Go to the transaction SE19 once again. Click on a classical body. This is the same definition. For the definition, we I want to create another implementation. Click on create implementation once again. Previously, for the first implementation, we have given Z vendor add data one. Now for the second implementation, I am giving Z vendor add data two. Continue. Give here some short text. Go to the interface and save it. Now if you observe, uh, it's asking enhancement implementation. Previously we have created ZVEND, so you can select the same thing and continue. Now another class has created. Previously the class is ZCLIM vendor add data 1. Now this is another class. Another class is created again with the empty method. Now this is empty method. I will double click. So this is empty method. So I want to implement this method once again. For the second implementation, I have written this, so I will copy the same thing. In the first implementation also I have written, in the second implementation I will write this, I will make here 2. Similarly, I will make it as a vendor, it is not a customer, so I will say vendor. Save, check, activate. Come back. Save, check, activate. Come back. Now activate your second implementation. Now we are activating the second implementation. Once you activate the second implementation, then go back to the transaction. So here do some changes and try to save it. So now first implementation is coming. This is the first implementation. After first implementation, if I continue, second implementation is coming. See, this one that belongs to US2. So this is the second implementation. That means in the second implementation, we have changed the message. That message is coming up here. So this is how a single body definition can have multiple implementations. Okay, so this is how we can implement multiple implementations for the body. We continue. Okay, so this is what your body concept. Fine. So body is very simple. So if you have some questions, you can ask me. You try it, you practice this uh, body, how to implement the body, then probably you can get some questions, then you can ask them.
okay sir okay fine so with this we complete we completed the body concept it is very small concept with body is something like user exists okay so maybe in the next class we'll start with the bapi bapi okay probably i think all the uh, there are some settings are required for bapi as well as workflow i think all the settings were already done rajkumar has just now called me and uh, he has told that settings are already available in our system maybe when we okay. start with uh, bapi okay so tomorrow we have class sir no 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 we'll go with the wednesday okay uh, wednesday sir yeah wednesday okay so no this bad is completed sir wednesday yeah body body there is no no much more things to discuss actually there is something called if you if you want to go in more depth there is something called filter dependent body okay so okay. maybe i will send you send you one document regarding that because filter dependent body is something like you can filter it out say for example uh, if you don't want uh, some vendors which which belongs to us country you can filter it out that kind of te technique is there okay so i will send you the details by email that is not very big concept filter dependent body okay okay so that is just like a theory only so i will send you that so with this uh, yeah this is uh, thing this is the concept of behind body body can have multiple implementation okay sir so uh, sir uh, yeah tell me i wanted to ask you something sir yeah. uh, can you tell me the evolution of uh, sap abap sir right now like we are using abap 4 right sir yeah abap 4 sir like i want you to tell me the evolution sir like first what they were using and how it changed is it possible sir for you to tell me god which one sorry sir i'm not no i i didn't able to get your question right now we are using abap 4 and previously what is there yeah sir starting what they used to use and how it changed i want to know now we are using for previously we had abap 3 or something 2 no like no no we are using abap 4 only we are using abap 4 only but previously okay. what is there there is a, there is some code was there which was non unicode so what i can tell you let me take you into ac 38 okay so i log okay. out in ac 38 whenever you are logging into the program there will be four check boxes have you observed when you are creating a program in the attributes screen there will be four boxes take any program go to the attributes see there are four check boxes here okay so editor lock fixed point automatic unicode check active and start using variant yes so edit editor lock means something like you can lock the editor editor means where you are doing the coding and fixed point automatic is you can use the arithmetic value if you are using arithmetic operations in the program check it check this fixed point automatic unicode check active this is what we are discussing about right now previously before 4.6c version SAP is using the above language, but Unicode is not there in that. Unicode means see what we are why we are learning OOPS concept right now because we want to move towards the Unicode. Unicode means see the standard thing like uh, what what I can say from from which we can enable the web services generally. Okay, the, there were some code changes were happened. in 4.6c before 4.6c version this unicode is not there and after 4.6c unicode check has came okay so okay. with the with the unicode check what happened some syntaxes has been changed in before 4.6c version people are using internal tables with header line after unicode is enabled now we are using without header line we are declaring work area separately and we are declaring internal table separately yeah so that's what happened and previously before unicode checks there are some statements a stat statement is there is some statement before unicode check the statement is stop stop is a keyword 
this keyword is there before you echo stop whenever you give a stop keyword what will happen uh, the program cursor will come to the end of selection say for example you are in the start of selection you are you are in the start of selection there are some performs perform get data perform um, manipulate data there are some performs are there assume in the start of selection and in the start okay. of selection somewhere you have written this stop keyword as soon as the cursor okay. see this stop keyword the cursor will come to the end of selection now this stop keyword is obsolete as as per the unicode changes okay unicode change okay. means moving we are moving towards the object orientation program object oriented program so we are doing okay. some changes uh, in the above coding to meet the okay. required uh, to compete with the other uh, competitors in the market like java and others okay okay so now uh, stop keyword is also removed and what else what else i can say Mm, yeah, range. There is something called ranges. Previously, before Unicode, there is a keyword called ranges. Okay, but now there is no keyword called ranges. Ranges means something like select options. Okay. Select options. You have, select options is internal table with the sign option low high. Correct. Similarly, yes, range is also a internal range. If you declare something in a ranges, that is also a sign option low high internal table. But it is not visible. Select options is visible in the selection screen, correct? You can give high and low in the selection screen. But if you declare something with the ranges keyword, so that is not visible in the selection screen. But there is an internal table existing with the sign option low high fields. Okay, so now this ranges is okay. keyword. This was not used. Okay, so like that, there were some changes that happened when you compare with the 4.6c to the uh, that that means before 4.60 and after 4.60. So those are called Unicode changes. No. Okay. So except. Now we are uh, using uh, 4.60, sir. No, no. 4.60 is the version name. Now we are using ECC six. Yeah. In our lab, we are using ECC six. Correct. So how to know the system? Okay. Uh, which system you are using? Go to the system. Go to the system status. Here, see, this is the ECC6. This is what you are currently using, component version. Okay? So, you are using ECC6. Before ECC6, okay. ECC5 is there. ECC5 before 4.7 is there. 4.7 before 4.6 is there. So, okay. before 4.6, that means it's a matter of around, uh, around some 6 to 7 years back. 6 to 7 years back there is a version called 4.6c okay? okay okay so from the 4.6c onwards unicode, has, unicode, started. Check, unicode has started before that okay. unicode is not there people use it code like as as a as they want with the header line and many select queries loops or something something inside loop and select queries and so those were there now we are trying to eliminate to increase the performance we are trying to move towards object oriented program. Yes. Yeah. So now with so the what is a, this full with form the ECC, of ECC, we are completely enterprise central component. Enterprise okay. central component. Okay. Okay. So with the ECC six, we are completely moved towards a uh, oops. Four point six C some basic syntaxes were introduced and so some basic classes were introduced. 4.7e some more uh, improvement is there, ECC5 some more improvement is there, ECC6 now we are completely into the uh, OOPS concept and we can now support the web enabled concept like with the help of ECC6 there is a concept called WebDyno Pro, ECC5 and ECC6 there is a concept called WebDyno Pro, okay so you can also do the WebDyno Pro with the help of the coding whatever we are doing right now with the same coding we can do uh, we can also support the web enabled concepts now. Okay. 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 So that is what that is the evolution. Evolution means there is no versions in the language actually. The language has okay. before without Unicode and after now uh, there is a Unicode concept is there. That's it. Okay. But uh, starting they used okay. to have uh, the language without Unicode uh, checks before 4.6. Correct. Correct. Now after 4.6, 
e even in your office you use uh, ECC 6 sir? In our office we will use ECC 7 and some systems are there which are still under 4.6C, 4.6B. Okay. See some people, some companies are implemented SAP before some 10 years. Yes okay. sir. So for them 10 years back 4.6B is the latest version, 4.6C is the latest version 10 years back. So they have implemented at the time the latest, latest version. But but what happened yes. after implementing they did not upgrade it. They, did, they have not upgraded to the latest version. Yes. Okay. So now okay. they are still using that 4.6C uh, version. We are keep on saying them change it to the new version, change it to the new version but they are not changing. Because they are, uh, they are habituated to that particular. No, not costly. They are okay. habituated. Like say for example if you are using Windows XP. Windows 7 will come, you will yes. not use that. Windows XP only you will use, correct? Yes. So yes. They, they are habituated for that. Now what SAP is doing, SAP will gradually, uh, will not give support for that. Okay. So then SAP will have force to upgrade. bring them to the, yeah, they have to sir, upgrade. Okay. So, like, sir, you, okay, you have uh, any documents sir, and like uh, interview questions for SAP? Mm, interview questions I don't have anything you just uh, google it out it has more questions but I'm trying to prepare okay. but I'm not finding out any time I'll prepare it out oh. when I have time okay okay, okay sir. so but uh, you can uh, I will also take the questions from the internet only and I will also paste it and prepare a board document that's it I'm not going to okay. um, like you know write my own questions or something like that because most of the times what will happen whenever you are going to interviews the interviewer also will go and set the questions and they will ask okay and sir. some some experience they will get say for example they are working in a bath from last three or four years then yes, they sir. have their own experience they have faced some situations those situations they will check whether you are aware of that okay okay so okay. that kind of things will be there sir okay. any so particular like, website do you know sir for questions or I have to Google it out. For questions, uh, I'll pref I will always suggest you to go to sap.sdn.com. I'll I'll take you into that site. Okay. See, the site is sdn.sap.com. This is a good one. Whenever you are getting some questions, some doubts, okay, any kind of yes. doubt, but but not, not very basic doubt. A basic doubt means, uh, shall I use? I'm I'm having. I want a ten-digit plan. Shall I use character or numeric? This kind of question, if you ask, no, these people will scold you. These people will simply scold you. Okay. So, okay. what what I will say is, go to the forums. There is something called forums here. So now in the in the ALV report, I want to put a checkbox. I don't know how to put a checkbox in the ALV report. So you can ask okay. the question here. Okay. So now I, you will go here. You go to the you go to the above. There will be somewhere you can find out about. See above development. Okay. Go here above development. So there are different different categories here. General questions you can ask. Data dictionary if you have some questions you can ask. Form printing, UI implementing. UI means module pool programming and web dyn pro. Enhancement means user exits and baddies. Performance tuning, this I will tell you. Okay. Data transfer okay. means BDCs and files concept yes, that means application server, presentation servers. Above objects means oops. Yes sir. Okay, so you go you go to the your relevant category and you will try to ask a question. Okay. Sir. If you want to ask a question, you need to register first. You need to register first. Okay. So where to register? How to register? You just have to go here and come back. I'll, I'll show you. How to register. Yeah, here here you need to register. Okay. Okay. 
this this site is maintained by sap okay that means sap people will maintain this uh, site so when you are asking okay. question before asking question just search it in the google okay. search it whether the information is already available okay okay if you are not getting then ask it you will get the answer okay okay so when when we are working as a beginner even now also when we face some critical issue we will post some question in this and some some if some people are asking uh, some questions will will if we know the answer we will answer that okay so okay. this is something like a forum where you can communicate with the so many people who know about that okay? okay so this is very good okay and so then okay then there is something called saptechnical.com sap techies so some sites are there so there is another site sap technical.com in the beginning stages go this go here when you are in a practicing a beginner beginners beginners can see this saptechnical.com yes. this is very good website okay so and apart from this there are so many others are there it toolbox is there sap tech is all those are not much worthy you just uh, check with these two sap community and sap technical these two are enough okay okay in sap technical also you can uh, post some question as in saptechnical.com also there is a forum here also you can post the question you can ask the question oh. okay if you are trying to ask very basic questions you can ask here okay sap technical sap technical.com nobody will scold you if you ask something wrong also but in uh, here okay. here HDM. people people will ex, uh, people will expect that uh, yeah you are having some exposure on sap you, you are already some some you know sap and you are tried and you didn't get the answer that's why you are asking okay okay oh. fine fine then so we'll meet you on wednesday with uh, bappy okay okay